Hello everyone, I'm Trucker Al from Rochester, New York, and when I'm not driving, I'm watching Trucker Josh on TJV, and you should too. Be safe out there. J Medicine Hat, Alberta. We grab some fuel, some DEF, a bean to cup coffee. You knew that was coming. I see your comments. People are getting tired of me talking about it already. Well, surprise, surprise! Trucker Josh is getting another coffee. I know. I like coffee. What? No, no. I want to be in this. I want to be in this aisle. I'll choose this aisle. Change my mind. Go on to this one. I reserve the right to change my mind at any time. So how are you guys all doing? It's another new day. You excited? On our way to Calgary. Another three hours. Well, we're taking the more southern route into the city of Calgary. Because it's going to bring us closer to the Flying J where we're going to spend the night. We'll be there at about 5 p.m. in about a half hour. I don't got to unload until... Oh, you give her, buddy. You give her. You give her, soccer mom. You go. I don't got to deliver until 11 a.m. tomorrow. And then I have a reload I'm picking up in Calgary after that. And that's taking us back home. So I'll be home for next weekend. I'll be able to get a few things done at home again. And that load is going up north onto the ice roads. But I'm not going to be taking that. Those are other drivers that will go up there. Uh, I don't do the northern ice roads. I'm sure if I ask, they probably send me up there but I'm not really interested in it unless if they specifically ask me to and need me to I'm not gonna volunteer though uh, it's very hard on your equipment very difficult uh, to get up there and uh, it damages your truck it could damage your trucks I mean I don't know if I want to risk it I've never been up there so it's just not something that interests me. I'd rather go down to the U.S. <laughs> it's warmer down there. And they got better roads. Actual roads that are made with pavement and not with ice. Yes. Well, that's where that's coming from. I could see those, uh, what are those stacks? All those clouds up there, whatever that is, the exhaust. I could see that for miles. I could see it for the last hour and a half already. Finally got to what it's causing. There's another one over there off to the right. I think that's coming from the city of Calgary. Probably refineries or something. This is Alberta after all, right? Uh, it doesn't look like it's going as high from here, but man, we can see that for a long time. Huh. Anyways, should be in Calgary soon. Calgary. We just turned on to Deerfoot Trail. 
northbound coming in from the south. Got to go up about four kilometers. And then we exit towards the Flying J. It's a big city area. This city's growing fast, man. Really fast. I think I've told you guys, right? My sister was born here. My second oldest sister. There's three of us. I have two sisters that are older than me. Uh, the middle one, the middle child, she was born here. Cheryl. My family, or my mom and dad, lived here for a few years before I was born. Before returning back to the, the promised land of Manitoba. <laughs> that was before my time. But me, I've only ever lived in Manitoba. I've never lived anywhere else. Southeast Manitoba too. I have a very small little corner of the province I'm from. And I don't really plan on leaving. I mean, that's where family is, that's where friends are, that's where our home is, that's where we've put down our roots. That's where my, my wife and my kids are gonna be. Well, that's where my wife is, where my kids are gonna be when we, when we have our kids. And I like it there, it's quiet. It's, usually, it's pretty cold sometimes and kind of remote, but I like that sort of my thing. It's all I really know, really, I guess. I tried living in Winnipeg for a while. It wasn't my thing. And Winnipeg's not like every other city, though. Winnipeg is like the crime capital of Canada, I think. You gotta be careful One kilometer. Take when you're there. Exit 240, Barlow Trail, Northern End. Slight right in 780 meters. I mean, it's still a shining city on the hill compared to, like, some areas of Chicago and stuff, but... In Canadian standards, Winnipeg is a pretty dangerous place. In 600 meters, take exit 240, Barlow Trail, Northern End. Slight right in 780 meters. But I don't know if you could tell or not, I've never been stabbed or shot. And I lived in Winnipeg for a few years, so I, I survived just fine. It's just a certain areas you want to avoid. And, uh, and avoid at night. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's still a pretty, pretty nice place to live compared to some areas. In 600 meters, slight right on 114 Avenue. There we go. So we're going to go around the corner here. Got Honda off to the right here. You got the Deerfoot Inn Casino off to the left over there. Right here, you can see Flying J, all the trucks parked right there and there should be plenty of parking for us because it's still early it's only like 5 p.m let's go in there let's get a nice beautiful safe parking spot where we won't get backed into that's why i like stopping early you have, you have your pick you can pick the safest ones my biggest fear of parking at a truck meters, stop turn right on 40 street and then approaching destination on the right side i already told them. 180 meters Karen, I already told him that. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Do I have my own lane here? I do. Yes, I do. Okay. But I need to take some of this lane. There you go. Get my trailer around the curb there. What? Got cut in front of me. How did he know? I, thought, I, don't, I don't think he was supposed to do that. There we go. She's gonna announce our arrival. Sound the trumpets, Karen. Come on, Karen. Where's my trumpets? Announce my arrival. Arrived at your destination on the right side, one one five one one forty Street. Very nice. Very nice. No trumpets. I'll forgive you this time. You'll learn. Okay, so, uh, oh, I need to wash this windshield. Yikes, yeah, wipe that down. That's on the inside. So, my, yeah, like I was saying, my biggest fear of parking at these big truck stops is other people backing into me. It freaks me out. So I try to find spots I can back into like this where people beside me would have a pretty easy time backing in, you know? Do a little loop around the lot. See, there's 
plenty of space here. Plenty of space. I think there's a sp spot right here in the back corner too. Isn't that? I think I saw one here. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. That is the safest spot you will find. You want to come up here? You want to come up here and help me edit? You want to come up here? Come on, bud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, plenty of room. Plenty of room. I don't need my own space to breathe. No, we can share the oxygen. Yeah. Wonderful. You're such a good boy. Look at him. Look at him. I am Jesus, Lord of all the weasels and the woozles. That would make me the king. You're the lord of the weasels. And the woozles, apparently. That's a new one. That's a new one. I didn't know this. Yeah, man. It's kind of a new thing. I was anointed recently. Well, if I... Who anointed you? I'm the king. I do the anointing. That's okay though, that's okay. I do grant you lordship over the woozles. I'm not too sure what those are yet, but I'm sure you will introduce me to one one day, right? Yeah, you're just gonna hang out here? Yeah, gonna help me edit? We got our whole editing thing set up here right now. <laughs> you're a good boy. So yeah, we found a parking spot. We actually didn't take that one in the back. We uh, parked a little closer to the front hooked into the Wi-Fi here and we got a great signal. Oh, thank you. Okay, you can just lie on me. I don't, that's that's cool. Yep, good boy. I've got a great Wi-Fi signal, so I'm uploading a few vlogs for you guys, so. Thank you, Pilot Flying J, for your awesome Wi-Fi. You know, the Wi-Fi wasn't working at the last Flying J I was at. Was that Minot? Oh, look into that, guys. Terrible Wi-Fi there, but here in Calgary at the Flying J, decent, decent. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoy the videos. It's a little shorter than usual, but uh, it does take a little more time to put these together because I'm trying new things. And I'm, you know, I talked about it at the end of yesterday's vlog. Uh, there should be videos popping up around my head here. Uh, one will be to yesterday's video if you missed it. And the next will be to another one on my channel that I've made over the past years. And the center one with me in the cowboy hat there, if that's what my profile picture still is, it's, uh, you click that and it will bring you to the subscribe page so you can subscribe so you don't miss a video. <laughs> We'll see you guys tomorrow.